And this is it, the finale, the final scene. And this, this here is something I really want to touch on in the review. Scorpion shows up. It disappoints me to see you. And look at him. He's got this new armor that looks awful. I will have an audience with and you may address me. I want you to think about when's the last time Scorpion appeared in this story. Not to save your Go on, just 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 think about it. To maintain your place at his feet. When's the last time Scorpion showed up? Fetch your master, Scorpion. I must speak with him. You speak only. That mask is atrocious. But the last time Scorpion showed up in this game was Chapter 8, the fight with Sub-Zero in Outworld. Half of the game, he has been absent. And remember, that was his only appearance in MP2. Other than that, he was completely absent. Also, Raiden's moveset is shite. He has not actually appeared since then. And before that, he didn't. He, last time he appeared was Chapter 5 for, for his fight against Liu Kang. Like, seriously? That's the last time Scorpion, last time Scorpion showed up. So you might be thinking, why? Why was that the last time Scott? Round two. Five. You saw that, right? You saw what he just did with that sword then. He picked out the wrong sword. But the last... But the, here's the thing, like, the reason Scorpion hasn't been showing up is because of Noob. See, after... Because he, he knows that Quan Chi during MK2 and MK3 does not have Scorpion with him. Scorpion just stays in the Nether Realm. The one Scorpion, the one Quan Chi has with him, you don't have anyone in MK2. Aside from like, I guess maybe Shang Tsung. But the person he has, yeah, the person that he has with him during um, all of MK3 is Noob. Yeah, he has Noob with him. Because what what because remember, if you played MK Mythology, I know the story of it. Quan Chi hires both Scorpion and Sub-Zero for the same mission. During that mission, the two encounter each other and Scorpion is killed. Now it was never presented as being a thing where Quan Chi was intensely trying to get Scorpion on his side. It was just a case of he, he he was just like, well, one of them will die. But so what? It'll just make things easier to eliminate the clan of the other of the one who, who dies. In order to appease the, the winner, and I'll and I'll get the uh, the thing I'm after anyway. That was the idea. But now, the, the way the, the way the story progresses is that Quan Chi basically just just uses Scorpion to kill Sub Zero, his ne his nemesis, and then after, once he has Sub Zero as his as his uh, as his minion noob Cybot, he doesn't need Scorpion anymore. I mean, why, why would he need Scorpion? Because, you know, he doesn't need Scorpion because he's got Noob, who, who is clearly the better fighter. So, basically, Scorpion is being used as a pawn just to get Sub-Zero on Quan Chi's side. I keep forgetting the moves. Like, that is the entire reason... That, that is the entire reason that um, Quan Chi even bothers with Scorpion. And then he only comes back once Noob is dead. Although I believe Noob does return in MKX, probably still under Quan Chi's control. So basically, it doesn't really mean anything. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of a par uh, kind of paradoxical that that I I, dis I despise the way the characters are needlessly killed off, but at the same time, I do know that it doesn't matter because in most cases, those characters will just come back anyway. And a few of the characters who died, who died in this game, quite a few of them, do come back in MKX. But there are quite a few of them who simply don't come back at all, as far as I know. I mean, some are in as NPCs, say it's a fight during the story mode, or appear in cutscenes. But there are quite a few characters who simply don't come back. Round two, fight. So, you know, it's... That's, that's, it's kind of a thing where it's like, really, because resurrection is possible and so commonplace, how can you possibly kill anyone else for good? But again, that's what they're planning to do with Armageddon, have most of the characters die. And I 
feel like that would just work better. I have it be Armageddon, this big battle where most characters die instead of just being Earth heroes are plowed through by one character in the space of about two minutes. Like the entire story, uh, the story mode takes, God, it takes like five hours to complete or so, something like that. I'd, I'd say that seems like a, like, a, like a decent average five hours, and it takes about, and it takes about two minutes for the majority of Earth heroes to die. Oh, by the way, um, it comes as a shock to no one that the final boss is Shao Kahn. And you have to fight him as Raiden, and Raiden has one of the worst movesets in the fucking game. You know, I, I do like some of the stuff with Raiden and Scorpion. It's just... Again, there are certain bits in the game I do like. But most of the stuff in the game is just really bad. And then Quan Chi shows up. You seek an audience. I seek cooperation between Earth Realm now, and Nether Realm. Mm -hmm. What follows is just horrendous. We will prevail, but with the Nether Realm fighting at our side. You lie poorly, Raiden. Earth Realm's defenses are overwhelmed. You have mere hours. Yeah, that's the thing, like. Things have gotten so much worse Name because of Raiden. What because of what Raiden's been doing, everyone's been getting killed off. Things actually turned out quite well in the original, in the original timeline. I offer the souls of Earthrealm warriors who die in this conflict. That is disgusting. <laughs> now, granted, I get it. Raiden is really desperate. He's run out of ideas. So I get it. In, as disgusting as it is, I can understand. I can understand it. I offer my own soul as well. If I die, yeah. So I, I, I get where Raiden's coming from, even if it is disgusting. But. Here's where they ruin it. Pointless. He's got them already. He already has the souls of all these dead people. You see, their souls are already mine. Shao Kahn's How does Shao Kahn have any rights over the souls of dead Earthrealm warriors? I mean, Sindel, yes. Potentially Kitana and Jade, since he rules the realm they come from. But he has no rights otherwise. And watch this. As you command, my master. Yeah. Round fight. Yeah, Jack's, Jack's eyes are now red, and that effect applies to everyone. Everyone's eyes just turn red during the fight. See, otherwise, they're, they're white in the cutscenes. And it actually gets dumber with a certain two characters, and I'll, I'll point them out when they show up. See, the characters are all wearing the outfits they wore when they died. Every single one of them. That's an important detail to keep in mind. Fuck off, Jax. And now Striker's in his other outfit. That's not what he was wearing. He wasn't wearing his default outfit. He was wearing his alternate. The SWAT armor. But now it's like, oh, he's changed outfits. But see, like... See, this, this whole thing it takes a completely different approach to the... Um, do the other tag battles and, and like it's actually I think it's actually better. Yeah, you fight three characters, but they can't tag between them. And I, th I think you get health back at the end of each round. But I think you do have to beat all three of them in one, three of them in a row. But it does count as a separate round every time. Round one. Fight. But you get some health back. And look, my, Cabal's mask is fucked up. See what it comes down to basically is, evidently, the zombie version of the character, which every character has for the. Um, for one of the uh, additional um, modes. Every character has a zombie form. And so those zombie forms don't actually match up with the way the characters appear. The characters actually don't appear this fucked up in the cutscene. They just, they just used it. I mean, and the cutscene seems to be pre-rendered, so maybe they did that version of the cutscene, then redesigned elements of the zombies later. Fucking fuck off, Cabal. Well, at least he's not at least not taking advantage of the situation, isn't he? Raiden but yeah. Wins. May the elder gods watch over you. The elder gods cannot help them. Their souls are mine. Kitana, Nightwolf. Of course, out. it didn't. 
It didn't t tell any of the others. You sealed our fate in this place, Thunder God. You have condemned us all. And of course, Katana seems more like she's more like her, herself, just just very angry about about what's happened. Whereas Jack was very much just like stereotypical mind control, calling Quan Chi's master and all that. Like it's bollocks. It really is. And there's no consistency in any of this. I don't know why everyone's hair has to be grey when they're a zombie though, it's, it's weird. But yeah. See, it's like, I don't, I, it's considering how, how much of a challenge they, they made Raiden's chapter, it's the end of the game, so it's all going to be tough, you have, you have to fight. Uh, I think it's just two of these fights. We have to fight three characters together. Three in a row. And then you have the Shao Kahn fight at the end. It's like... It's just like... Why did they have to do it in, in the way they did? It's, it's just bollocks. Like, why is Raiden so shit? They should have given Raiden a bunch of new moves. In order, in order to make him decent. Because like, oh, what does he have? He has his uh, torpedo. Which has got a new move. I mean, I mean, new name rather. He's got his lightning bolt, and then the rest are, are too situational, or just not very good in general. Now, yeah, I think you do have to beat them all in one go in, in one life. Okay, so we're gonna keep an eye on it. Just raid and get more health. Maybe just a bit. And again, Kung Lao has changed outfit. So it seems like there was some kind of fuck up, uh, some miscommunication between whoever was programming the costumes for these fights and whoever was programming them for the cutscenes. And the game had to load because of this bollocks. We have to start off again against Kitana. But again, it's like. A lot of this. It's just. What, what would have what made this better, I think, actually, would have been if. Instead, if this had been one fight, and you had to fight all the warriors, you have to fight every single one of them as, um, uh, uh, and, but they're, they're all a lot weaker. So, that, so all together they're about on par with uh, a single character as far as, strength, as far as strength goes, both health and damage output. So, so their health should really go down a lot quicker. But no, I, mean, I, I get it. This is the final part of the game. They want to make it challenging, but come on. Damn it. Okay. For some reason, I keep doing I keep doing the enhanced moves. You know, I really want to do is the X-ray. So here's Kung Lao in his other outfit. It's just, it's just, uh, it's done. And there's like, there's like, I think there's like, I think there is about nine characters who were dead. There might be more. Yeah, there's more than that. I think, I think I was just thinking of the nine characters who died in that one scene or so, or maybe nine plus, including Kung Lao. Curse you, Quan Chi. Zhao Kahn's victory is nearly complete. Soon he will arrive in Earthrealm. No. The Elder Gods cannot allow it. The Elder Gods are toothless. Your world is near destruction, yet they do not... It does have a point. They must! Only through mortal combat may Shao Kahn... See, the Raiden has a point. Lest he face the judgment of the Elder Gods. I, I do have to question... I do have to question how Cyber Sub-Zero is still a robot when he's undead. It is you who face judgment. He's undead and he's a cyborg. And Jax is technically as well. I now know what must be done. And that's the last you see of any of these characters. The other heroes are just dead into the end of the game. It's funny because MK Deception had a, a thing where a bunch of Earth, some of Earth heroes died in in between games. Uh, at the end of Deadly Alliance, they're all supposed to have been killed okay. into Deception. And they're all resurrected under the Dragon King's control. Yeah, let's just let him win. It's like Final Fantasy VIII. Let's, let's stop the villain's plan by letting it succeed. The Elder God's fury will fall upon him. Defeating Shao Kahn before I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, but... He will return, bringing Armageddon. I have foreseen it. Enough, Raiden. 
this is just dumb. But I don't know why Shao Kahn's forces can come through can come through, but Shao Kahn can't. I mean the original timeline, the, the whole idea, the whole idea was that Shao Kahn can can legally invade Earthrealm. He's not meant to be, but he can legally come to Earthrealm because of Sindel. 